I've had this atomic clock on the wall for a number of years. And lately, I have noticed that it's got a major problem. If you just look at it, you probably won't be able to tell much. Well, number one is it's in Fahrenheit. But uh, that's not necessarily a problem, because I can fix that. But no, 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 no. The problem becomes apparent when you turn around and you look at the time that's displayed on all these other clocks. I don't know what it is about this thing, and it seems to happen around the time of the DST changeover. It goes to a random time. And this time at least the minute's correct, but it went back in time two hours, then the changeover happened, so now it's back in time three hours even though it's set to Eastern Daylight Time. And it'll sit like that for about a week, and then it will contact the... Uh, oh, I should mention that in the, in the meantime, it does contact WWVB and doesn't change itself. But then all of a sudden, at random, a couple of weeks later, it will change back to the normal time. And it'll be like that until the next DST changeover, and then it will go to another random time. So I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but clearly it's got a problem. So what I'm going to do, because I can't stand it when clocks are wrong, is I'm going to replace it. I don't think this is an atomic clock, but I don't really care, because all of a sudden I'm starting to get the feeling that having an atomic clock is not necessarily desirable. So we have this. This lacrosse technology wireless weather station. There's your item number. It's got all of these different features. You can pause the video to read things, if you so desire. Ultimately, probably fancier than what I need. But if it keeps good time, who cares? You know? Now, I gotta preface this by saying one thing. Actually, probably more like a couple of things about this. Number one is this is not a how-to video. I'm not gonna show you how to set this up. Because, quite frankly, I'm not an expert, and why would you take advice from somebody who doesn't know what the hell they're doing? Secondly, this is not a review video. I may make one of those, but that's not what this is. But it seems that every time I make a video of anything modern, you know, I unbox something and show it set up on the wall, people complain that I don't show them how to set it up, or they bug, plead, beg, and wheedle me for my opinion on the device, when, honestly, I've just opened the thing. I don't have an opinion on the device. So... I'm getting kind of tired of that nonsense. Again, you could pause the video if you'd like to read any of what's on the back here. I think it's mostly just in a couple of different languages, but... I don't like that it comes with Duracell batteries, but I guess I'll use them. My hope is that I could put that sensor in the window, and that it may actually work. I don't think it will, but we'll give it a try. And there's your specifications, which are kind of hard to read. Okay. So let's open this terrible, honestly, packaging, because I hate blister packs like this. I may have to use two hands to do this. I think I'm going to just go ahead and use two hands. Okay, here's the unit. I've removed the little protective thing from the front of it. Now, I was not aware that this actually required use of an AC wall wart, so I just had to go and rejig my power setup for this, although ultimately it's probably better I did because it means that I can put the sensor for the light strip that's right there in a proper location and hopefully make it easier to use the remote with it. But I don't really like that. But for now, it's the way it's going to be. So it does, it only uses the three batteries for backup, which kind of makes me curious why they needed three, but that is the way that it is. Apparently it's got alerts as well. I'll have to figure out how that works. But uh, the step, the process to actually hooking this up is to first put the batteries in this and then put the batteries in that. Well, plug it in and then put the batteries in whenever. You know, you do it the way that you need to do it. So that's what we'll work on.
Okay, I've plugged it in. It's flashing English at me. So, oh, well, now it's doing its thing. So I guess we're going to have to set it. This might be a little difficult. Hello. English. Beep. Let's set that on. Why not? Format 12 hour. Uh, let's set the time here. It is 5.58. I probably could go minus, it'd be faster. 2021. It's not January anymore. It is March. And the date is the 14th. At least that much is correct. On that stupid thing up there. Temperature in Celsius. Pressure. Let's leave it at hecto HPA. Normally I read it in kilopascals, but we'll leave it alone. I'm not sure. Let's just leave it. Thank you! Alright, she is set. Now, obviously that's reading no battery. So, we'll just wait for the two sensors to communicate with each other. And there we go. So... I'm going to put the batteries in, and then I'll see if I can get this up on the wall. 